Hey Peoria Riverman fans, goaltender Eric Levine coming to you here from Mishawaka, Indiana, spending some time with my brother and his girlfriend uh, in their house uh, with their two cats. So yeah, it's just um, it's been a wild, uh, it's been a wild last couple of days. I mean, days feel like months at this point. Uh, to kind of how quickly things have transpired, and you know, you look back at the season, um, you know, you how much work you put in from day one, and and to kind of go through almost the whole season. I mean, what we were three weeks away from playoffs to go through um, and then for it to kind of come to this screeching halt uh, the way it has, has has been something that I've never really had to deal with before. And I know, uh, you know, a lot of people are searching just for the right words to even describe how you feel. And, and, and it's, it's, it's awfully difficult, but uh, you know, we certainly want to, you know, say thank you to all those that are, you know, fighting this, this virus head on and all the people, um, that are dealing with it on the healthcare side and from nurses and doctors and the grocery store workers and people that are fighting for trying to get this, you know, thing under containment and working on vaccines and everything. Um, you know, it's amazing to see kind of the world response to, to this pandemic. Um, so on a macro sense, you know, you certainly are trying to follow and stay up to date with what's going on there. And, on the personal side, you know, just reflecting upon the season, it's um, it's not often that you get to be with a group of players and management and coaches that are are also dedicated to winning and bringing in the right people. Um, I've been a lot of teams in my in my career, and and you know, never have I felt such a sense of selflessness from everyone. Uh, we were so committed to doing any detail that it took to be successful and to win. Um, you know, we were tested all year, and uh, we were first place all year we found ways, we found different ways to win games. We got contributions from up and down our lineup and so many uh, things I think that go unnoticed, you know, not only from players and kind of what they put on to, you know, not necessarily the ones that just score the goals or, or whatever, but players that just make little plays and, and buy in so much to the system. And there's such a belief that if done the right way, you know, we were going to be successful. Um, so, it was it was pretty amazing to just be a part of that locker room and 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 to uh, I feel very appreciative to be you know a member of the Rivermen and the support that we got all year from the fans uh, was incredible. Uh, it's so much fun playing in the Civic Center. Um, you guys are so highly passionate and you're educated and you're just supportive, man. The support we get from the Booster Club and the fans, I said the town, it's uh, it makes our time very special and it makes being a Riverman um, something that is is a unique opportunity that I, I really truly, uh, have come to appreciate and love, um, you know, throughout my career. So, um, uh, it's just sad that, that we don't have an opportunity to play. Cause I think every hockey player will tell you that, you know, just all you want is a chance, you know, you just need one opportunity. Um, and I think we had a really good team that was going to get it done, but it's kind of the way it goes, you know, it's life. It's, 20% what happens and 80% how you react to that. So i um, been trying to kind of just take it easy. I've been doing a lot of yoga. Um, it's something that, that that's kind of good to balance out between my own uh, mind and my body. And it's created a lot of space for me to kind of do some thinking and it's kind of even me out uh, other than growing this terrible beard. Um, you know, that's what I've been doing. Uh, I've been trying to, you know, keep up with all the guys and see how they are. Um, I don't know if I'll be back or not next year. It's something that I think he and I will have a talk uh, in the summer about and kind of we'll figure it out as it moves down the road. But, um, you know, Peoria is a super special place uh, for me. It's it's where I started my career and it's always, it's it's said that it's where I want to end it. So, so we'll see. Um, but uh, for now, I just hope everyone's staying safe and uh, we wish you guys the best and enjoy this time with your family and this unique opportunity that we're all given to sort of kind of reset and pause and, uh, kind of find find what's important to us um in these in these desperate times so um stay safe and we appreciate everything again uh hope everyone's doing well and uh we'll see you guys next year all right bye